turning words into vectors, was common practice in machine learning long before transformers. But it's a little weird if you've never seen it before, and it sets the foundation for everything that follows, so let's take a moment to get familiar with it. We often call this embedding a word, which invites you to think of these vectors very geometrically, as points in some high-dimensional space. Visualizing a list of three numbers as coordinates for points in 3D space would be no problem, but word embeddings tend to be much, much higher dimensional. In GPT-3, they have 12,288 dimensions, and as you'll see, it matters to work in a space that has a lot of distinct directions. In the same way that you could take a two-dimensional slice through a 3D space and project all the points onto that slice, for the sake of animating word embeddings that a simple model is giving me, I'm going to do an analogous thing by choosing a three-dimensional slice through this very high-dimensional space and projecting the word vectors down onto that and displaying the results. The big idea here is that as a model tweaks and tunes its weights to determine how exactly words get embedded as vectors during training, it tends to settle on a set of embeddings where directions in the space have a kind of semantic meaning. For the simple word-to-vector model I'm running here, if I run a search for all the words whose embeddings are closest to that of tower, you'll notice how they all seem to give very similar tower-ish vibes. And if you want to pull up some Python and play along at home, this is the specific model that I'm using to make the animations, 